Hi, in this video, I just wanted to talk to you about my Gamer Dan Cam statistics, or at least some of those statistics or the analytics. Something that I think that might be kind of surprising to some of you. And before we really get into it, I just want to point out that, you know, I do have over 100,000 views, not a lot of subscribers. Channel isn't really all that old. You know, it was started June 10th, 2013. Until very recently, I made virtually zero effort to, to promote it. I was really just playing with keywords and, and tags and and some other tricks and things, some of which I have created videos about, you know, in this channel, as a matter of fact. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about here. Um, I do want to point out that the videos at, at one time, I think I have, I have 75 videos in this channel right now. I've created 105, 110 videos. Uh, so obviously I've deleted some out of the channel. So some of the stats, you know, just aren't right you know, because of, as a result of the fact that I've deleted some videos, even including the ones that were deleted, the, the, the overwhelming majority of the content is on Diablo 3, which is a game by Blizzard Entertainment, and it is an action role-playing game. So this isn't, I just want to point out, this isn't a cross-section of, of stats, you know, this isn't really all that scientific you know, this isn't really necessarily proof of anything, uh, I guess would be what I'm driving at. It's just one very small gaming channel. It's on YouTube. And it really, for the most part, just covers one game. And it's all by one content creator, me. So don't get too crazy with uh, what these numbers mean or, or get the idea that I'm trying to make any sort of absolute claim just based on these, these numbers. So let's take a look at the numbers. So looking at demographics, for the lifetime of the channel, which is currently showing between June 10th, 2013 and March 17th, 2014. Hmm, so a gaming channel is primarily viewed by males. I'm not surprised by that. But at the same time, I don't really know how accurate all this data is and how exactly it's gathered. Uh, do they base that on the name that is on the bill that pays for the internet service? And then even then, is that even public information? Like, I have no idea where they get this information, uh, long story short. But let's look at the data, all right? So we just take a look, okay? It's broken down by the top 10 locations uh, country-wise gives us a number of views, gives us age groups. Now just take a moment and notice how almost in every case that the 13 to 17 year old age category is actually the smallest category in each country. With, you know, some exceptions. You know, for instance, if we look here at Sweden, 9.8% in the 13 to 17 year age category. In the 45 to 54, it's lower, lower here, and lower still here. But, you know, when we look in the 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and in some cases, the 45 to 54 or older, depending on uh, the country. And also, in some cases, if I, if I break it down and I look at uh, data just for like this week or yesterday or, you know, last month or something like that, the data changes a little bit. So just looking at it over the lifetime, it, it gives us, you know, kind of a running total. But I just think that I personally am not that surprised. I think that, you know, some of you who might watch this might, in fact, be kind of surprised, though. I mean, look at the, the number of 25 to 44 year old males who evidently play video games or at least watch content that's based on video games. Or for that matter, I guess you could go the 13 to 54 year category. We'll just call this whole thing a category. And obviously it's all male pretty much. So, but anyway, that about wraps this up. That's just what I wanted to share with you. What do you think of that? Are you surprised? Do you not? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.